Hi there, I'm Ludwig and this is SQL Bootcamp Online, the two-minute SQL series where I'm addressing the most common questions about SQL Server and Azure. So today's question is pretty much the same one that we've asked last time. So how to save the query results to a CSV file? But last time we learned how to save the CSV or how to save your results as a CSV file using SSMS, so your SQL Server Management Studio. Now today what I want to show you is how to achieve the very same goal but without GUI, without graphical user interface. So without further ado, let me just jump straight back to my desktop. So again, you remember that I do have have my results CSV. This is the content of all of my employees that are listed in the human resources employee table. So again, these are all of the same results that we've discussed in the previous video. If you haven't seen that video, just scroll down. It, YouTube algorithm should show you this video either on the right hand side or below me. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel in order to have more of those golden nuggets. But uh, I do have my CSV file. Now, if I didn't have SSMS, boom, what I would have to do is I would have to launch my command line, my command prompt. So I'll just launch my server. I'll just type in command prompt or CMD and I'll just change the directory to desktop so it will be easier for me to write my code. All right, I am on my desktop right now. I do see my results CSV file in here. All right, let me just check the directory. Boom, you can see that my result CSV file is also here, so I am in the proper place. Now, what I want to do is I want to use the BCP program, the bulk copy program. Now, the bulk copy program has a very specific syntax that I just need to follow. So what I want to copy right now, well, again, from my AdventureWorks, AdventureWorks database, from my human resources, human resources a th a schema from my employee table. Again, I don't have the IntelliSense in here, so I need to make sure that I do know what I'm typing in here and don't forget about that. So uh, I have my AdventureWorks um, database. I have my human resources th uh, th uh, schema. I do have my employee table. I want to spit out uh, all of my results into the file that I'll call bcp results.csv. All right, so again, this will be the file that should also be five, 55 kilobyte, kilobytes, the very same way, uh, the very same as my results.csv. So now I need to configure just a few more things. Now, this AdventureWorks database, where is it? I need to provide it with the server name where this data is located. Now my server, as you can see in here on the desktop, it's called just London. So I'll say that the name of my server is London. And all I need to say is, hey, I want to use the lowercase c parameter in here because this may, it means that I'll be using the character data type from my SQL Server uh, database. I want to use some kind of a delimiter, right? So what it will be delimiting all separate separating all of my um all of my uh fields. So again since it's a comma separated values file, I'll just use the comma in here in double quotes. And then I want uh, Windows to trust the connection to SQL Server so without asking about any additional credentials. So once I'll do that, I'll just have this BCP AdventureWorks Human Resource Employee out to BCP results.csv from the server called London character data types uh, delimited by the commas and with using the trusted connection. I just press enter, boom, 900, uh, 290 rows were copied. As you can see, I do have my BCP results file in here as well. Boom, exactly the same file. You can also see that these files are pretty much the same uh, size. Again, those 2.2 kilobits um, difference is whether you do have the headers or not. I did not select it that I wanted to have headers. And in this file, I did have the headers. So that is the size of uh, the difference in size between those two files. So again, as you can see, without having SSMS, you can also very easily export all of your contents from your table 
to the CSV file using the BCP utility. But it's not just that. What we can also do is we can export our data to text without having to go through the delimitation process afterward. And this is what I'll show in the next movie, so in the next clip. So do not forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and even better, if you want to get your SQL game to the next level, sign up for SQL Bootcamp Online. It's free and it can take you from the novice to the professional level in no time. So thank you. I'm Ludwig. This is SQL Bootcamp Online. I will see you on the other side.